Hello, this is Sergey from Soft, and today we're gonna be reviewing Quicken 2018 Starter Edition for PC and we're gonna convert CSV file to QIF format and import into Quicken. Please subscribe to this channel as we're gonna be posting more videos and tutorials about how to convert various formats and can and import into Quicken, QuickBooks and other software. We will use CSV to QIF converter. It is important to download the latest version of the converter uh, as it has Quicken 2018 for PC added a supported option. So the target here should have Quicken 2018 for PC listed. So make sure that you have version 3.0.8.2 or later to have this enabled. I'm going to be using sample CSV file as we used before. It's a simple file. It has few transactions, one deposit, three withdrawals and it has column names uh, that the parser can read and can understand and another new option that I have to mention it has P mapping what it does it allows to rename P names P names here and uh, there is like clean up or rename them from original to what you would like to be them in Quicken. So you can put here some original and then put new value what, what you like to be, what you like to replace. So you can put here something like, uh, for example, mm, purchase order system oh, let's do a better example let's say shell and you want to replace it with so there's usually like shell stations they have shell one two three four at certain city and you just want it to be shell so how to make it shell it is supposed to use form call uh, with a uh, mask mask form so we have to use um we have to use sh shell and just type so what it does is whatever the pay name is if it has shell and those stars before and after means that everything before and after will be removed so shell whatever shell will re be replaced with shell if something like you would like to change like shorten pe for example like uh, purchase order system and you would like to change it to pos what it does is if no stars used then the pay name stays as is but if it has purchase order system then this purchase order system this string will be replaced with pos so essentially you keep everything around this but you shorten it to make purchase order system pos Quicken 2018 has different different QIF vari variation than Quicken 2017. So please make sure that you select Quicken 2018 for PC as your target. Quicken 2018 requires only account type. So make sure to select account type you need. You can put account name here, but for Quicken 2018 it will not be used. Then date format for Quicken 2000 yeah, for Quicken 
date format should be this you can change here format but it will not be used and will be only used for different like ms money or other or other options that's when this date format is plain and but for quicken options it's always use this format because this is how quicken, quicken expects it what else um the the parser itself uh make sure that if you if you convert them for credit cards that your charges your expenses are negative or they are in withdrawal column if your c3 file has charges as positive numbers amount here amount is positive for expenses or for, for credit card charges you can just change here and just say my charges are positive so the parser will uh, automatically change or put them in right column so make them withdrawals or make them charges and if you have file with many columns and the parser cannot figure out which column is which you can use review mapping and readjust to select different columns and and you can readjust reassign columns here to have for example to select for memo you can select different column like uh, those column names they are coming from the csv file if your csv file has a first column as a column names then those column names will be used here if you don't have column names then you will see something like field one field two field three and you have to look here to figure out which field number which so it's better to have column names as first name on your csv file and we we'll click convert to create a qif file so we'll create a qif file for quicken 2018 and now we we'll switch to quicken and say uh, file import qif file so what we're gonna do here is we select that file and this file is here just created and there is no f no format no account to select uh, what we're gonna do is we can create account so we know where to import so we add account uh, i'm gonna say this is checking account and we just say i want to enter my transactions manually so to import when you when you don't want to connect to any bank just click advanced setup and then click i want to enter my transactions manually and just name the account checking and finish so now when you import qif you can select the checking account here so this is what the new in quicken 2018 because before it was message that some transactions some account types not supported blah 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 so this is this is gone now which is good change and only uh, and all listed accounts are available so you can simply select which account you want to import into and just click import and you have your four transactions imported and here they are you can review them you can also edit them if you like and that's it so you use converter convert csv file to qif format and import it into quicken 2018 starter edition before 2018 starter edition was kind of limited limited edition and you have to get deluxe edition to import properly qif files and do other things now they change it to have starter edition to import everything in starter edition which is good thing as well 
so thank you for watching this video please like it if you like it please subscribe to this channel uh, if you don't like it then don't like it if you have any comments put uh, put uh, in the comment section below and i hope you would find this video helpful and if you have any questions or you need help or you need support please email to support at propersoft.net thank you